Hello again, a new day, a new experiment. As you see, I have a new pure sine wave inverter, 600 watts with a top of 1200, you know, an instant peak of 1200 watts. And uh, I found something really interesting about that. You know, I really love Solartronic. This uh, inverters and uh, generally all the products from Solartronics and I'm not doing any reclama by the way. They are really good, reliable and uh, strong and so on. I have a European uh, output here, 240 volts and of course the battery and a fan behind and it's not a big deal. It's pretty big, it's pretty heavy. And like I said, the Solartronics, they are doing really nice product. But I bought this specially for having my little fridge here. You know, this is a fridge and a freezer. I was thinking to have them uh, hooked to my solar batteries and uh, my new MPPT over there on the wall. And by the way, this one have a week now and is doing a really great job. I like it. So if you really want a cheap MPPT, that's the one. This was a kit and I assembled it myself in that uh, aluminum box. So it's a little bit of work, but it's really, really worth it. Okay, so what's the story? I observed the fridge consumption. I've been using one of this uh, Sonoff uh, PO2 and this have a really nice function of counting the energy, measuring the energy and there we go. So you can see here very clearly for 24 hours, this bar means 24 hours in the 2nd of October, 24 hours long, the fridge, this little one, took like 100 and, okay, let's say 200 watts. So this was the, the power consumption for 24 hours, 200 watts. But here is something really funny because I know my batteries and I know my voltages and I know my consumption and by the way delivering um, around 600 watts daily for my uh, night lights and uh, Wi-Fi and cameras around the house and some little stuff like this. You may say minor stuff but they are really taking power. You know everything takes power and I observed somehow the battery drained a little bit earlier that uh, my mathematics uh, supposed to do and i found out this little inverter in fact have a self power consumption of more than half of amp so this one doing nothing just being on his own is taking an instant 572 milliamps doing nothing just stand by the total power is 7.2 watts. You can see in two hours and seven minutes, it took like 16 watts from the from the batteries. If we uh, count that, okay, let's say two hours, 16 watts, that means like eight watts per hour. Let's say seven, seven watts per hour. Okay, if we count that, and remember, doing nothing, seven watts per hour. If we do this seven times 24, we have a consumption of 168, 170 watts per day and that's huge. I mean the fridge itself took me 200 watts and uh, the inverter 170. It's almost double, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's like uh, running two fridges in the same time. And uh, this is really annoying somehow. Let's do an experiment here. So here we have the watt meter. I'm hooking on off to the inverter. And we have an extra 100 milliamps. Okay, that's not a big deal. This one is taking like one watt per hour. So even this one, it's taking 24 watts daily. And this is interesting. 24 and 170, that means almost 200 watts daily for nothing for nothing just standing by at least this one is counting the the energy you know okay so now let me hook my lamp this is a 300 watts lamp or 200 watts i can't remember exactly of course 
That's why, because it, it's not connected to 12 volts as it should be to the battery with some big cables. It's just running with this little connection there. Anyway, everything went up to 18 amps, you see over there. So the 200 watts, so the lamp it's like 200 watts, okay. The noise was because now it's just connected to some thin wires to 12 volts normally. It's connected to these uh, knots here to some really, really strong cables directly to the battery. And if you really want to have power from this, you really need strong cables. Let me show you. Okay, so like I said, the, if you really want to push the power, these inverters should be connected straight to the batteries. And here I have the wires for the sake of experiment. Now I just hook it over there. I don't know, maybe this one have a problem or that's the way it should be. I really don't know. I had so many models before. I never was curious to check about the standby current or power consumption. If you have anything like this, please let me know. Write your comments down there. And uh, if you can have some measurements, it should be interesting to let us know about uh, how much power these things deliver and how much power they are taking on standby. Because you see, I'm, uh, Effectively, I'm losing 170, 200 watts daily doing nothing. So uh, maybe I should implement a kind of switch to this fridge. You know, the thermostat connected with the power switch here. And when the thermostat is supposed to start the motor, it's switching on the power inverter too. So when the thermostat is uh, on connecting the, the motor, the fridge uh, compressor, uh, in the same time it's pushing on here through a relay or something to have this on too. By now I'm not using this anymore because it's just sucking my batteries for nothing. Thank you for now. I uh, hope it's uh, useful. Please let me know your comments and uh, if there's uh, anything to do about just let me know. Please like, subscribe and don't forget to have fun. Bye bye. <laughs>